Hello, 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 hello again. Who's sick of me? Me. Other than Jessica. All right. Me. Oh, God, I can hear myself. Oh. Okay, comments on. Let's see who's watching. All right, I'm going to crack right into this today. I am doing a page in my junk journal using acrylic paint. Hey, Julianne. Using acrylic paint and I think I should probably put an apron on because, hello, Karen. You're my new favorite stalker, I think. Hello, Michelle. How are you? Catherine, Michelle, oh, hang on. I'm trying to get my apron on, girls. Won't be a sec. All right, Jessica, if you're not being productive, you can go and, I don't know, lay on your bed and be a teenager or pack an order or do something. All the orders are done. All right. I'll knock off then. Take you and the dog, and I look forward to having you come back in here and... Message me when you need me. Tidy up for me. All right. Um, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you for your patience there. So I have decided I'm going to do a quick art journal page. Um, and, sorry, I've just got 41 degrees in Penrith. Oh, yeah, actually, it's about the same here. Jess, what's the... Watches aren't right. No, the watches aren't right, so let's not use those. Um... Thirty-one feels like twenty-seven. It's hotter than that. It's because it's um. There's no sun. There's no sun. Excellent. Um. So I've decided I'm going to do a quick little art jur art journal page. This is on the inside front cover of my junk journal. And sorry, I've got a hair stuck in my mouth. Would you believe? Um, okay, I'm going to do a yeah, art journal page and I'm going to dry brush. So I've spoken about dry brushing previously and dry brushing is just where you use a dry brush, no water. So this is one of the Dina Wakely brushes that I cracked open a packet of these the other day um, and thought, right, actually use them instead of just opening them because they're pretty. Because, you know, that's the thing. Hey, Shell. Hey, Tam. And I'm just going to crack out some colour. My back, the, the page that I'm working on is, because it's the front cover of my art journal, my junk journal, um, the, I have given it, it, and it's a manila folder. So it's a manila folder that has been folded and opened up and cut and all the things. So what I've done with it is just given it a super light coat of gesso this page here I'm just covering up so I don't get any transfer because I'm messy. I've got a few stencils here off to the side. Look, straight into the messy. And I'm going to be using a baby wipe, just doing a little bit of rub back where I can and as I go. So because it is that gessoed background, I can do that. Um, what other colours can we use? I'm going to go with Strawberry Daiquiri. So even just letting it fall out of the bottle and then dripping it on. And I'm just creating a really messy, abstracty sort of background. Hi Jason, how are you? Long time no see, babe. Haven't seen you for ages. Sorry if you were coming in here incognito, but you know what? I don't do incognito. Um, I've got my crazy quilt stencil from Stencil Girl. I'm gonna rub back a little of that fluoro. Crazy quilt stencils are fantastic because they 
have got so many really cool patterns on them and the ability to move things around really, really easily and nice and fluid. So, um, what else am I going to pop on there? Bit of that one, hey? So another quick little live for you this afternoon. Um, just spreading the love around because that's what we do. And then at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, I'm going to be jumping over to jumping over to the uh, picture to page Facebook page where I'm going to be doing a very very quick scrapbook layout. Um, I did have a big plan to do something else um, but I'm a realist today and I uh, decided that I'm going to do a quick mixed media layout just using some papers out of my stash. So that is happening um, this afternoon. Now you'll notice I'm not really putting anything in the middle here and that's because I know exactly what I'm going to do with this page and I'm going to put, a, put something smack bang in the middle. So I'm not wasting time by doing that. Um, Hey Vicky, picture to page has been awesome. Yeah, I've been having a ball. I've been having so much fun and I really do need to do this a lot more often, don't I? A weekend of creating and, and sharing sharing the love with you guys. Um, but I just, get in there, there we go. But I haven't been. All right, so super loose. I'm not being too stressed about how it looks because it's just a layer underneath to start with. Giving it a little rub back to bring a bit of pattern forward. So Stencil Girl stencils are 15% off, including this Crazy Quilts one. There's actually three different Crazy Quilts um, stencils and they are all bloody brilliant. Radio, that works for me. Uh, drink break. Hi Val, how are you? Okay, what I wanna do now is with my Mark Mashup stencil, um, let's get rid of that. Didn't think that through. I swear I go through a packet of baby wipes a week around here. All right, those out of the way. Um, I'm going to use a little white gesso instead of whoops, instead of white paint, um, and get some more pattern on. So white gesso will do the trick quite nicely. Hello, Helen. Long time no see. Oh, everybody's coming out of the woodwork today. Love that. All right, so my Mark Mashup stencil. Um, this is one of my personal designs. And um, as I have mentioned as well today previously, it's actually one of the designs uh, that are not on special. The Natalie May scrapbooking range I have um, there's a half a dozen stamps and stencils. They are not on special because I have already discounted those enough in getting them to you guys. So um, thank you for your understanding on that. But you can jump online to nataliemay.com.au to, uh, and you've got until midnight to make the most of the discount. The all right, so the gesso is just adding a few white crosses around my page. And I'm just using a, a latex makeup sponge to do that. That'll do. And then I'm gonna come back and um, add some more a little later. All right. So what my thinking here is 
now that I've done that lovely messy messy page um, I just want to pop a few other little accents on perhaps I wasn't going to but I've changed my mind <laughs> excuse me oh my goodness oh that was a bit rude sorry guys um, okay so I think it needs a little bit of depth so I'm gonna add in my chevrons and I'm gonna use the other end of this and this color that I'm using here is balmy in the dilutions colors okay Oh yes, like that, just to give it a little depth. So I designed this stencil earlier this year to give a, um, just to give me a nice balance of pattern that I thought that I was missing in my um, <laughs> collection. Sorry guys, I can't believe I just sneezed live on Facebook because you know, that's the thing. And the lovely Neve, um, Bailey has been using this stencil a lot as well. So she's been doing some amazing work. Oh, hello, Tina. How are you, my love? How's your day going? Nice and warm out there on the farm? Oh, that's a bit better. All right. Beautiful. So what the plan is here? is I want to do a dream catcher, okay? So instead of using feathers as a drop down, I have cut out from, from the, where are we? From these guys here. These are called flowery bits, designed by Michelle Logan. And I thought, right, I'll use these leaves. So I cut out a few earlier to save some time because I really wanted this to be a quick page. I do have another live Facebook to do in an hour interview sort of thing. And I want to do a circle. So I want my dream catcher to go here. So a couple of things I could do. You know what? I'm just going to stick that down like that. I'm not going to think about it. So this is cut out of a, um, what's it called? Atlas. I had an atlas and pulled the page out because I needed something with a, a whitish background to match these leaves. And it needed to also have a lovely small little print on it that didn't say anything offensive because that's important sometimes so I just use puzzle glue to stick that down because it's what's in front of me here and it's quick and it's easy and now that's stuck on there and now I'm going to grab my I might just grab my my scribble sticks that's a good idea hang on hold that thought See, I sent Jessica inside, didn't I? Because she was being a pain in the ass. Um, so she wasn't there, of course, when I needed her. That'll teach me, won't it? So I'm going to use my scribble sticks and a paintbrush. Sorry, I'm not going to say that my daughter's a pain in the ass. I can't say that. That's rude. But you know what I mean. Anyone who's got kids, they know. You know what I'm doing. All right. I'm going to use my scribble sticks to add some colour. So my water well here is not working. There we go. So I'm dipping the end into, straight into the water. So I used scribble sticks last night when I did the live um, on the picture to page Facebook page and scribble sticks are something that a lot of us probably have but don't use enough. So I wanted to get them out and have a bit of a play and that's the look I'm going for oh, sorry guys because I sneezed <coughs> excuse me 
now more sneezy. This is the winds come up here in Adelaide now, which has stirred up all the pollen, which has stirred up my sinuses. Not that you guys really need to know that, so sorry. Overshare. All right. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm starting to create my dream catcher circle, but when this area here is dry, I'll be adding some black to it. This white bit in the middle, I need to do something about that because that's just unnecessarily white. So I'm gonna get a little bit of gesso. And I'm gonna stick something in the middle in here in a minute and it's not gonna surprise any of you but it's gonna be one of those lovely Tim Holtz dead people. Cause you know how much I love them. Now it's starting to look a little bit better. Now, because it's acrylic paint, it's fantastic because it's drying beautifully, right? Apparently not quick enough today for me. There we go. Um, what I want to do, I can either use my black scribble stick to add some dimension here. Um, but I think I need to use, I think I need to use a black pen. I think that would be better. And I also need to add some other black elements because at the moment it's just a bit of a mess of colour. So I'm going to use, here we go, here's an idea. I've got another sponge. I've got a stencil and I'm going to use black archival ink and some stars. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Pop a couple up here. And that's super easy. How do you get your archival ink off of your stencil? Hand sanitizer. A spray of hand sanitizer on there will work an absolute treat. Okay, so let's get out my black Pintor paint pen. So I need to do this bit before I do um, anything else. I want to add a couple of other li little bits and pieces that are going to stick over the top. But I need to give this circle a, better a bit of definition first. So I want to do a really loose hand circle, okay? So a loose hand circle means I'm holding it up high. And it's not a solid circle, and that's really important. I don't want it to be a solid circle. I want it to be a broken circle. And before I put my hand in that, and then I can build on it from there. I can also take a little bit of the white Pintor pen, so not that one, I want the fine. And I can add a little few touches. So I've got that gorgeous spellbinder, sort of spellbinder, what do you call it? Dream catcher sort of look going on. Radio. Okay, so in the center, I need something going on. I know that I want to use these leaves that I cut out from. You know what? I'm just going to commit to it and stick it on. I'm going to use these leaves that I cut out from the um, flowery bits, from the um, uh, 
uh, uh, sorry, Scrap Effects coloured sheets, which are fantastic because I love that they're only, I don't know, $3.60 or something like that. Super inexpensive and you can get so much out of them. So I'm just dropping them on here and in a minute I will jump on and uh, jump in with a pen and add some stringy bits. You know what I mean, stringy bits. Wow, I'm doing great with words today, aren't I? Radio, that'll do. Stuck, 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 that'll do. Now, let's find the perfect dead person. I've got a little pile of dead people here somewhere. She just looks grumpy. <sighs> But she's also sitting in it, so that could work. What's the other one that I grabbed? These three grumpy... Oh, no, one happy, two grumpy ladies. Kind of like her. So let's cut her off. Let's separate her from her friends. Because that's how we roll. And she's going to sit in the middle here. Before she sits in the middle, she needs wings. Of course she does. Of course she does. And she also needs a flower in her head, perhaps. Or a flower down here. Let's put wings on her first. All right, so I've got a couple of options. I've got these wings, which are super pretty, which are looking pretty great. I've got butterfly wings, which are quite dark, so she could sit like that. These new ones that I've got in here, these are the fairy wings, and they, I think, would probably be perfect. But I'm not going to open a packet of those. I'm just going to use these babies. And... Cut them out. So just chat amongst yourselves for a second. And I think I might even pop some alcohol ink on these. That might be a good idea. To show you that they can look cool. How am I going for time? What time did I start? Three-ish. Just after three, just before three. Great and quick. Shell's just comment say say blah, blah blah blah. Shell's just commented saying this is great and quick. You know what? That's what it's supposed to be. I don't want. I mean, I do love the idea of taking my time with an art journal page, but I've got things to do today. So I started off. Where did the idea come from? Just like everybody else, I flicked through Pinterest and went. I wonder what I could do. So I found, I suddenly came up with a dream catcher and I went, oh, perfect. I can do a dream catcher. I haven't done a dream catcher in a journal um, for a while. So uh, because I wanted it to be quick and easy, I pulled out the paints. I knew it had to have a dead person on it. So I had to have one of the Tim Holtz people on it. That was easy. So it's just a case of taking a second and going, giving yourself a little bit of a plan. What colour wings? Fluoro red. How bad could that go? And I'm going to do the fluoro wings on the back. Why? Okay, so I'm putting it on the back rather than the front because... Well, for no reason, actually. Just because. There we go. And it needs another colour with it. Fluoro yellow. I see dead people. Of course you do, Karen. Of course you do. I love them. I just think they are creepy and... and 
versatile and you can make them look grumpy and you can you can tease them <laughs> tease them you know what i mean you can do stuff with them they don't necessarily mean anything so you can pop them on your page Pop them on your page. There we go. Pretty cool. So I just need to give that a second to dry. And put your paint, if you take your paintbrush um, with alcohol inks, pop it into water straight away. Or clean it with isopropyl alcohol or sanitizer because it'll stain your paintbrush beautifully. All right, those away before I keep adding to them. And I just need to quickly, quickly heat set those wings. And I do mean quickly because they will melt otherwise. And that's kind of not cool. All right. So a bit of glue. Oh, that was hot. She needs to sit on the edge. So I need her wings to sit there. Wing one. Oh, this one's not dry, but stuff it going on and they're not in the middle whoops voila okay um what do you reckon that looks all right so I have sat her up a little bit high. She should really be sitting a little lower. My bad. But how do I rectify that? I'm going to pop some flowers in for her to sit on because that will plop her bottom up a bit. So here are a couple of flowers that I cut out earlier. And it's then it's like she's sitting on a cushion. Radio. Tape. Tape. Glue. Adhesive. That stuff. Awesome. Yes. Yes, Queen. All right. Let's get rid of these other dead people out of the way and have a look at what's going on here. Stick her feet down. So I need to now take my paint pen and get some strings going up to the rest of the dream catcher. Just a little connection. And I'm also going to enhance these edges. Time. 29 minutes. Splendid. Alright. So what's everybody up to today? Other than watching me waffle on, make an absolute hot mess of that foil that I did earlier. That was kind of funny. So I've just got a thinner black pen here and all I'm doing with a thinner black pen that doesn't work is 
is just doing a few little thin lines and a few little curly lines in and around. You're making Christmas cards, Sharon. Well, aren't you a fabulous person? I haven't even thought about it. I, it hasn't even crossed my mind. Um, Christmas cards are not high on the list of things that I even am interested in this year, to be honest. How, how unfestive am I? That's just shocking. But that's okay. I'm okay with that. You know what? If um, I'm, I'm up for a phone call and a conversation and an email and a Facebook message at Christmas rather than making Christmas cards. Um, you've been ordering photos. Who was that? Sorry. Karen. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just a bit. The weather's just a bit crap, isn't it? Okay, so I'm loving this. This is kind of heading in the direction that I want it to. Um, I think it needs a few more. I don't know what it needs. What does it need? It needs a border. Oh, it needs some words. Hey, yeah, I haven't put my tree up. Oh, look, the rule in our house, and it has always been the same, is no tree till December. So can't put that up until Tuesday. Can't do that, um, but which is fine because uh, I don't even know where the tree is. Actually, I need to downsize our tree. Does anybody want a secondhand seven foot Christmas tree that is just, it's just way too big for us. I don't need a massive big tree anymore. Anyone in Adelaide want a, a tree? You're welcome to get in touch. Um, all right, I think it needs a little bit more white, it needs a bit of a pop, and I think I also need it to have a little bit of a shadow in and around, in and around the edges of my dream catcher. So I'm just going in with my Stabilo and a semi-clean paintbrush, because you know, I didn't want to be an overachiever and have a clean paintbrush. Get a little shadow in. And it just makes a little bit of a difference. To how it looks, okay. A little bit there. Um, could do with a little mark making, so I might just pop some more big crosses in and around here, up over here where I did those before. Few black dots. So in my black pintor, And then she needs some words. She needs a bit of mood enhancing. So let's have a look here. I've got small talk, small talk, oh, big talk snarky. Oh, they're a bit over the top. I don't think I need them that big. Let's see what I can find in here. So I do have a good range of these guys online at the moment. Um, um, I should have got the snarky ones but I didn't so that's okay oh here we go use your wings and because I don't like their eyes because I don't like their eyes voila done look at that 34 minutes yes okay feeling like a boss today guys um I'm not finished, let's be honest. I need to do some white splatters. And now I'm finished. Pens down. Okay, so I'm going to bring it up to camera to show you. So 
so that you can have a look. How good do the wings look with alcohol ink? Like seriously brilliant. Every now and again, I surprise myself and, and forget how good they really, really look. Um, but I'm loving that. So to start off with, I had a background, which is it's the front inside front cover of my uh, limited edition limited edition junk journal from Scrap FX, and I gave it a little gesso. Oh, Julie, no, darling, I'm not going to start again. This is this was a power art journal page, so a um, bit of paint around the edges. I cut a round circle from a um, what was that? An atlas and stuck that down, and then got the scribble sticks out to draw and add a bit of paint to the outside. I then used my stencil, my mark making stencil. Here we go. This guy here to add, we had some white crosses around the place. We used the black stars around the place as well. And then these here are from the flowery bits designed by the incredibly talented, awesome, and very, very all round nice person, Michelle Logan. Um, and used a dead person, popped her on, alcohol, alcohol ink on the back of the wings and done like a dinner fabulous so i'm going to take a photo of this i'll pop it up on my page for you um 5 p.m you can catch me over at picture to page facebook page where i'm going to do a live facebook um so it's for i'll put the link up anyway from picture to page at 5 p.m. Um, an interview so you get to see my super cute noggin and um, I will be having a chat to the team over there and doing a, uh, a fake uh, doing a scrapbook page which I haven't planned have got no idea what I'm gonna do and then maybe after dinner tonight I might do a 49er market two page project what do you reckon yep all right, so that's it from me, guys. Jump online to nataliemay.com.au. 15% um, off a whole range of stuff. Get on it. Um, wash your hands, kiss your kids, pop a mask on, and I'll chat to you soon.